So today we are here with Essex Glamping. So we've got Wayne and Rachel who run this site. It's, it's a massive site compared to what we've got. So they've got um, six safari tents on one site and four safari tents on another. Um, so tell us a little bit about Essex Glamping then. Okay, uh, Essex Glamping formed in 2018. We started with four tents uh, from Clear Sky. Um, we then very quickly grew to six tents and then grew to 10 tents last year plus 10 bell tents as well for the summer. Wow. Um, we came up with the idea to set up our own business in 2018 uh, where we went glamping, stayed in a similar thing mm -hmm. and then came back and thought well we can, we can have a go at that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we lease, lease the land from the Salvation Army and from Essex County Council mm -hmm. so we don't actually own the land and we don't live on site either uh, so we literally and trust our glampers to look after our business for us overnight, which they do. Um, and we have plans to grow again with another two tents, possibly next year. On your rare breed uh, side? On the rare breed yeah. side as well, yeah. I was driving home from work one day, wasn't I? I was looking for land and thinking, well, how can we own a glamping business without land? And I saw the sign for Hadley Park and I thought, right, I'm going to go and ask. So they just had a sign saying they wanted to lease the land? No, no, they were just a sign saying Hadley Park along the oh, road. Right, okay, one of the yeah. brown, brown yeah. signs that you get. Oh yeah. So I came over, spoke to a guy, and he said, yeah, we'd be interested in having a chat. Oh wow. And it went to, from from that point on, it took us about 18 months Indeed, to get on site. Yeah. Um, by the time we did the planning applications and everything yeah. else. How easy was planning for you? Planning... It was hard the, the first time, wasn't it? It was the first four. I, I would say it was harder for the first four because we'd never done it before. No, yeah. And we was, it was, we was unknown. Uh, so it did take the full duration of the time to get the planning. Right, yeah. Um, but these these two, three weeks, hmm. three weeks, pretty much. Wow. Yeah. And then the That's rare cool. breeds was somewhat more difficult because we had some protests oh, going on right, about okay. that one, which we won't go into. Okay. Um, but it proved a little bit more difficult, didn't it? Yeah, well, like a neighbour. Um, oh, okay. Making yeah. lies up. <laughs> right. Um, okay. And then yeah, so literally um, we we kind of went with Hadley Park. Um, they said yes, we got the lease done. Amazing. So 10 year lease on, on one and 10 years on the other. Okay. Um, so we're four and a half years into one, yeah. one lease, year into another. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that's how, how we were born really. And it's um, not, you're not worried about the fact that you've only got a, a lease of 10 years, not worried that they might suddenly say, oh no, we want you off. I, th I don't think there'd ever be a time, time they'd say they want us okay. off. Um, I suppose we, you've always got to be mindful of that when you own a business. Yeah. But we're not getting any younger. <laughs> so it might well be the right time when they say. But also, they're safari so, tents, so theoretically you could take them all down and move so, them somewhere so, else yeah, or yeah, sell yeah, them exactly. on. Or... Yeah, we could sell them on. Yeah. Uh, hopefully it won't come to that. Hopefully yeah. we'll maybe sell it and. Yeah. You know, who knows? Yeah. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've been lucky here though, in that we mentioned earlier that we've got no one else around us. Right. So the nearest campsite is about an hour. Yeah, and I think that is amazing to have yeah. that kind of security. And I think one other thing, when we set up Essex Glamping, everything kind of went with us, if that makes sense. It was, you know, the planning went through, and we was thinking about names, mm -hmm. and we was thinking about like what the people put into Google. Yeah. And we checked the domain name, and Glamping in Essex, our domain name was yeah. there, and it was yeah. like amazing that Glamping in Essex. Yeah. Because that's the first thing, if you're going to look for Glamping site in Essex. Yeah, that's what you type in. Yeah, Google. absolutely, yeah. So I think we've been quite successful purely because of our, our domain name as well. Yeah. Um, but having said that, you know, we also are mindful that we, we don't advertise anywhere apart from Facebook. Yeah. So Facebook's been our. Instagram. And Instagram, yeah. yeah. Um, so it's all social media. We don't have any print. We don't have any no. copy, any magazines or anything like yeah. that. Yeah, saves a lot on it's the all, advertising. Yeah, cost. yeah. Um, so it's been quite successful in terms of Facebook and social media, isn't it? Um, we're typically one night stays. See, this is what I can't get my head around. Like, I can't imagine just doing a one night stay. But then you don't do the bedding. Which, we don't do bedding. Yeah, it's yeah. a massive. We help. provide the duvets and the pillows. They bring their own linen. Yeah. Uh, and they, they our guests put it on. That doesn't seem to be problematic at all. No. Um, it's a massive time. Time saving. saving yeah. for, <laughs> for us. And obviously cost as well. Yeah. Um, because we're not having to employ too many staff. No. Um, so you've just got one extra member of staff. One extra member of staff. And are you, do you two work full time in the business? Or do you have an No, Rachel still works as well. Yeah, I, I work three days a week. Yeah, okay. Waitrose, and I do full time, yeah. full time here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, a bit like you. Yeah, but, but yeah, yeah. a bit right around, yeah. Um, 
and yeah, we we're kind of jack of all trades. Really, I noticed on your website your accountant. Yeah. Well, your yeah, you've got to be everything, haven't you? When yeah. you when you run your own business, you yeah. have to be able to do. Yeah. So you have to know about marketing. You have to know about accounting. Yeah. You have to know how to clean. Yeah. <laughs> well, for the first two years, we did it all on our own. We yeah, we did everything. No. Yeah. And that was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, yeah, trying to clean. I mean, even trying to get a cup of tea in midway through yeah. the day after you're cleaning six tents. Oh yeah. Just to try and squeeze your lunch in before yeah, you get Yeah, sometimes I don't, like, well, oh. on change of days, I never have any lunch, I just get it done. Get sometimes it done. I'm still cleaning the toilet five minutes before somebody arrives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, it's, it's quite stressful. Yeah. But yeah, you two seem really chilled and uh, even though you've got guests arriving today, you've, yeah. you've got it all sorted. Well, we've got six, six days left of the season, yeah. then we close and uh, we're looking forward to having some yeah, rest. Yeah. Um, oh, well done, amazing. Yeah. I'm surprised, I mean, Rachel was, was a lot thinner than me, I'm surprised all the running around the <laughs> We should. I should be eight stars. You should be a rake. Right, yeah. It's crazy. Right, well, let's but, go and have uh, a look around the yeah, site, yeah. and I can't wait to see it all. Okay. So, everything here is off grid. They've got this one solar panel, and in this shed is just one leisure battery that runs the lighting for, so a light inside and a light outside. Um, so, it does all four tents, that one battery, which is brilliant. As I say, I think we've gone a bit overkill on our solar. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even own a drill. No, we were the same. Oh, I couldn't even put a shelf up. No. But you just have to you, you have to get on with it, don't you? Yeah. So did you build these? So the, we bought these from Dunster House. Oh yeah. Um and I mean they're not they're they're quite pretty. Um as a shed goes, it's pretty good, isn't it? Uh, compost and toilets. Okay, so you've got compost and toilets. Um, do not use this side ever. <laughs> <laughs> Basically it's yeah, because there's a, t there's a tank under one side. Yeah. And oh, I see. So our cellar tanks it shut as well, because even cellar tanks shut, people just open What's it and use right, it. Right, yeah. Okay. I don't understand why you have to have two And so sheets. this is, so I see, yeah, you were saying about your signs earlier. So don't we in the back section ever, <laughs> only put poo and tissue in there. Front section is for we only no tissue. Right, yeah. So it's just, I'm just going to show you down the toilet, because everyone's interested in toilets. There you go, there's people's poo, you have to wee in the front and poo in the back. There you go. And here, look, this is a urinal. This not is a, a urinal. Not a hand wash. Not a hand wash. So this isn't for his and hers. No. <laughs> his and hers toilet. I can't see no. Thing. What is the point? I can't see the point. Well, so why do, so why? Kind of back to dump to the house about it. So why don't you have the one? Because you can still change the tanker. The idea is, when the tank's full, you shut one down. Oh, and then you just swap the swap over. Swap them over. You don't have two stinking tanks, do you? you no, know, they don't. Have you just milk. pull the tank out and then replace another tank. I guess that does confuse people, yeah. 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 So you could just have the one in the middle. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't realise Dunster House did composting toilet. I, I thought you yeah. must have done this bit yourselves, but um, oh, well, there you go. So just to give you an example of the wind that we get across here, like we had a strong wind last night. I don't know if you were aware of it. Quite strong. Oh, oh we, were we were in thunder and lightning. Thunder and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> the front of this oh no! Another repair. You know. Oh, there's always something, and isn't what there? What we've done is the urinal. You've got this side as well. If you use these toilets correctly, Hopper. they work. Abuse them, and you are ruining yeah. them for everyone else. Well, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel loves her signs. <laughs> Soak away. Yeah. Okay, sorry, so you've got a soak away for the wee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and also a soak away for the showers as well. So where's the showers? So the showers. Oh, there's here. a big sign saying showers. That is another um, toilet, but we didn't open it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I mean, we built these from scratch. We didn't, we had Did loads we of spare wood. So they are heated. So they're open air showers, lovely in the summer. Oh, right. Oh, right. Um, so you can shower under the stars. I'm just going to get in. Stars, yeah. Well, there you go. How about that? Um, so you've just got gas yeah, and then... Yeah, to a gas boiler. Gas boiler, yeah. Behind. Yeah. And then as the shower water comes through the boiler, it triggers the boiler to ignite and then you yeah. get hot water, yeah. Yeah. How yeah. much was the boiler? Perfect. 89 pounds on eBay. 89 pounds on eBay, yeah, was the boiler, yeah. Oh, see, yeah. what... We got the idea from another glamping site, didn't we? Yeah, yeah so but they work really well. People love them. We just don't do our research, Brian. What do you mean? Well, we did do our research. We did do our research. Our boiler was like 600 quid. Like, but ours is a door one that. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll. Which sits outside. Yeah. It's fully weather protected. Yeah. And it just sits outside and it does its job really well. Yeah. yeah. We uh, we didn't we only because we went to the glamping show last year. Yeah. We stayed in a place. So we got three, The man explained three it to us. So we is it in here? In. Yeah, okay. Boiler, it's all screwed shut. So yeah. And then there's another um, one in here, is there? Another, another one. Okay. Perfect. 
Well, there you go. Outdoor shower. But it's something different, isn't it? Like it's something it's all about like the yeah, yeah, and you get um, you get that proper yeah. outdoor camping yeah. feel. Oh, and I see the back here is where you've got the toilet. Yeah, I mean we are gonna tongue and groove on the back of that, put a, like a gate on it so you can't see it. Um, oh, I suppose then, the only if you come around here to go to the shower. shower. Yeah, so, oh, okay. Yeah, another, yeah. We screwed them shut because um, kids were like. What's in there? What's yeah, in there? what's in there? Let's find the poo. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, our little compound here is we'll just put all the waste tanks into there. Okay. Um, and just let them compost down over the winter and yeah. we're in the corner and then literally. Check it on the compost seat. Yeah. Brilliant. With the uh, summer holidays, obviously. Yeah. Uh, we tried to capitalise, so we have 10 bell tents. 10 bell tents? Yeah. Do you furnish so them or do you just literally. We don't, we don't furnish, they're literally designed for people that have got all the gear. Yeah. Can't be bothered to come and bring their own tent to put it up. Yeah. You just literally ready made and directed tent. And oh, okay. Done, so. And how much do you charge a night for Was it bell tents? £55, yeah. isn't it? This yeah. night, yeah. Yeah. This year. Yeah. Um, they didn't actually sell They that don't well. actually sell that well. We find people much prefer, for the sake of an extra couple of quid for the safari tents. Yeah. I prefer to have a proper bed. bed. Yeah. Around. Yeah, you're in a bed. Um, you're in that kind of in between, aren't you, from camping and glamping? Yeah, yeah. You'll often find that it's the last minute people that want to get away that end up in a bed. Too. Right, okay, yeah. But we've had a good reviews over the yeah, week. Yeah. People enjoy them. Yeah. Um, but I think people enjoy what's on offer as well because you've got so much going on in the park as well. Yeah. So during the summer, from about May onwards, you can do paddleboarding, kayaking. Uh, we've got a park all course, you've got all the mountain bike crowds, you've got bikes. Oh wow, so there's like, loads to do here then. Yeah. Is this a Hadley Park then? Is it's this a country park? Yeah. park? It's so yeah, so over, sort of thing. over here, where all the little trails are going over the hills, Yeah. that was all done for the Olympics. Oh, okay. So this is where 2012 happened for all the mountain biking. Oh wow, okay. Okay, so people can come here and they've got loads to do on, on site do. essentially. We've got the farm as well. So it's yeah. a working farm. Um, and are you allowed to go place. around the world? Do people they do tours of the working farm then or they do like you got you can go and pet the animals, feed the animals, etc. Yeah. yeah. Um it's, it takes about an hour, doesn't it, to get around the farm. Um and that's really popular with our glambers. Yeah. Um it's, I think it's about three or four pounds to get in, isn't it? So this site we're on now is called the Rare Breeds site. It's for the Rare Breeds. Yeah. Because we're on the Rare Breeds. You're on the Rare Breeds, Breeds farm. Breed. Yeah. And then the other side um, is the Hadley Park side. Yeah. Which is our first site. Okay. Which uh, we'll go to now and show you. Excellent. So we've got four um, clear sky safari tents here. Um, each sleep in six, and they've got the yeah. You've got electric for lights. You've got your own kitchens in there, and then your own fire pits as well, which is really nice. So we're off now to the Hadley Park site. So this was this is the first one you did, was it? This was the first one. So we started with four tents. Yeah. And then we grew to six. And then obviously, thought, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we go big or go home. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll add four. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. It's because we were just so popular here. Yeah. That we thought, well, we might as well add another four. Hey, now, cleaner. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> These are all named after animals that you'd see on the yeah on the site so you've got badger squirrel fox rabbit woodpecker and deer um so we started with the four um then we added the two the first four is like one bedroom yeah but still sleep six mm -hmm. and woodpecker and deer which are the two end ones are two separated bedrooms oh okay and we've still got the composting facility yeah the toilets okay here as well so this is compost and toilets in here so here's the toilet And then you've got a second composite toilet, exactly the same as the one, the ones there. You can um, charge your phone while you're on the toilet. I'm going to be doing some work on these over the winter. Um, we are going to make these into two bedrooms. Oh, right, okay. Right, so is, is she just feeling cleaned in here? That's fine. <laughs> this one's got use later anyway. Okay. Okay, so this is, this is massive. So you've got a proper sofa in here, kitchen. Oh yeah, we use these as well. Right, careful what you touch. Oh, I see. So you've got the four single beds in here and then a double bed. So you're thinking of separating these? Yeah. Are um, you? If you, I don't know if you've been to Clear Skies. Um, oh, we've only seen them at the glamping oh. show. Yeah, so we're gonna, the lounge area will become slightly smaller. Yeah. And then we'll 
and then we're going to use some of this wood that we've already got off um, and buy the packs from the clear sky. Yeah. So we've got one bedroom around here and the bedroom at the back. Okay. With kitchen reconfigured over this side with yeah. some lounge area here. Okay. Um, so do clear sky do kits of, of these kind of the yeah. walls and. Yeah, you can buy the wall packs from. Oh, uh, okay. Um, so we, we're only going to do the first four. Yeah. Because the other two are already separated. Yeah. Separate anyway. So do you find that people want separate bedrooms? Has that been a comment from people? You don't, don't really say, but we think by doing that, it might allow us to get more into the corporate sector. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. So that we can start to do our corporate away days. Yeah. Separate bedrooms for people that want to come and stay for. Yeah, that makes sense. Things. Yeah. It's a little bit more private then as well. So it's all off grid, so it's all run off the solar. So, so it's all off grid. Um, we've had those little hoovy boxes on the shelf since we started. Yeah. And that's what we use for mobile phone charging. Okay. So yeah. there's. Yeah, but it used to be a lighting box with a tent. Oh, okay. So you can plug a USB in, turn the power on, it'll charge your phone. Yeah. That box is run from a separate solar panel on the roof of the tent. Yeah. Which is separate to the main lighting system. Okay. So, so each one's got its own solar panel. So each one's got its own solar panel for the. The hub, yeah, yeah the, the hub, yeah, yeah, and then literally the the power for the lights comes from that solar panel on the shed roof out there. Okay. With the one leisure battery again. Wow, that's amazing. And that's doing all six. Yeah. The game never oh, runs out. Yeah. So. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, so water, we'll talk about. So you've got a standpipe over in the next site, and so you have to fill up these two bottles. Yeah, we put twenty liters of water in each day. Yeah, and then um, the guests have to go and find their own. Well, we tend to do. Or one. you do, or you keep coming back keep and. Coming back yeah, but they can just go onto the other side and get. Yeah. And just go to the other side. And yeah. Get and then it goes into a. Um, like a yeah, there's a underneath thing. each tent. There's a little waste tank. Oh, okay. The water from the waste. We used to have the waste tank under the cupboards. Yeah. That's why the cupboard doors look. But I can I can lift them. So. So now. Uh, I had a day off. I just I run the pipe out. Them. Right. And it goes into a little tank. Yeah. Underneath the tent. And then we just scoop it out every now and again. Oh, okay. And it overflows. It doesn't matter, yeah. It doesn't really matter. So do you build these yourselves or do they come and install them for you? Clear Sky do come and build them for you, or you can build them yourself. We took the view uh, to have help with the first four. Oh, okay, yeah. And when we built the other two, we did them ourselves. And when yeah. we did the other four, we did them ourselves as well. Okay, so you've got to get the experience so from them. The experience from them, yeah. So what do you need to prepare the ground? What do you need to do before they get here? There wasn't really an awful lot, was there? Um, I mean, when we took over this site, the grass was was quite high, wasn't it? And the park had actually cut it, but just making sure it's flat and level. Okay, so you don't need any anything that do they just literally plonk them straight on the ground? Yeah, but these obviously we because we've got quite a gradient. On yeah. The land, we had to have our. You'll see that the back of the tent is at the the highest point. Yeah. The front of the tent, we had to raise up and level yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, just using stakes in the ground. Yeah. Um, and then literally once the deck was built, yeah, the frame goes up in half a day, doesn't it? And you can get a roof on. Stressful um, build or not too bad? It can be stressful if you've got a lot of wind. Yeah. And a lot of rain. Yeah. And so what made you decide to do wooden doors? We decided to do that because of children probably putting the zip halfway down. Yeah. And then they yank it and the zip comes out. Yeah. And we were very happy to come in the morning and try and thread zips back through. All oh, right, okay, yeah. But yeah, we, I mean, we, we didn't spend a fortune on these, did we? Um, I think to do all six was probably about a thousand pounds. Okay. But it was money in the yeah. well spent. Yeah. And that we didn't have that hassle anymore. Then yeah. Zips. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes definitely. it'd be like two or three zips a day, wouldn't it? Oh my days, that's ridiculous. Yeah. So. Doors yeah, doors it's all the way, way. yeah. <laughs> so we've got four exactly the same clear sky ones, and then these two are from Outstanding. Oh, the, yeah, this is nice. I like the fact that you've kind of got your kitchen diner yeah. and then lounge separate. And then... It's secret, is it? Why is it secret? Oh, so we've got a secret double bedroom in here. And then you can have the kids have got their own separate space. Four children. In case you've got four kids. So we are going to be doing something similar to this and the others. So yeah, this is what you want to separate out the bedrooms. Yeah, but yeah. we will go right up to the roof. Okay. Uh, so you won't get that bit. Yeah. 
Um, and this this would be further forward. Yeah. That one further back. So we create the kitchen area still. Yeah. The seating area. Yeah. And the little lounge area on this section here. Ten to fifteen thousand. Ten to fifteen thousand for for this size one. Yeah. Well, kitted out. Kitted out. What with yeah. the wooden partitions. Well, we, didn't, we didn't buy that. We just that's just come through from the local wood, wood yard. Okay. Um, but I think we paid. Around about ten thousand for each of us. Yeah. Close by this. Okay. So domes. Yeah. So our small, the smaller domes are about nine. I think right. we paid, and then the bigger are about ten, eleven. I think they are. Might be now. Get that out as well. Then yeah, you got to put what about whatever. The deck? Does that include? No, that's we've got to build the base oh, right. on top of that. Yeah. Oh yeah. So the house comes with decks. Oh, they come with decks. Yeah. Oh, so everything you see is what you get. So oh, all the right. decking. What, even like the outside bit here, would you yeah, have to yeah, add yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, it comes with it, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, because that's yeah. quite a big expense is building a base for a yeah. dome or whichever way yeah, you want to yeah. do it. Yeah. yeah. So Selfie that's frame. That's there you go. Want to go and stand behind her? Yeah. <laughs> so apparently they um, put a selfie frame in because they saw our one on our YouTube video. Cool, isn't it? So you got a cafe here. Breakfast. Yeah, the breakfast. We've also got another cafe where we parked. Yeah. Uh, that's not open yet though. Well, it's um, shut due to COVID and it's not reopened. reopened yet. It's run by the um, Salvation Army. Army. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you've also got a bike hire shop here as well, so you can hire a bike. Take the bikes out. That's brilliant. There's so much to do. It's literally the perfect setup because. They've only, they can use all the facilities. There's showers here and toilets here that, that the grandpas can use. It's about a four minute walk because the tents are over that way. And they can come and use all these facilities and they don't have to maintain them. So they just get to use the facilities. It's brilliant. So there's toilets, reception, bike hire shop. And then behind the bike hire is um, showers as well. Showers and Iron Age. Over there, yeah. And then a nursery over there. And a cricket, there's just everything, isn't there? Yeah. yeah. There's loads, loads to do there for is. families. But what I like about um, the operating model is that it's right next to Essex Glamping, but it's taken care of by somebody else. Yeah, yeah. so you get all the benefit yeah. of it, but they don't, don't actually have to. We're, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> So to say a massive thank you for having us. We've had an amazing tour of Hadley Park and the site and your two amazing glamping sites. We're so impressed with what you've done and um, quite jealous for your setup actually. Oh, thank you. Um, so thank you so much. And thank you for coming. when are you going to come to Traction Queen? Yeah. Well, when we, when we get the invite, we'll come up and we'll, uh, well, come down, isn't it? Yeah. Come, come up. Left, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, yeah, we'd love to come and visit. Yeah, it's, absolutely. Uh, Anytime, you're more than welcome. Uh, for us, it's always good to get a bit of inspiration from other people that are doing the same as us and yeah. learn from each other and bounce each other's ideas off each other. And stuff. Exactly, it's, it's really so good, important so. to get your, your glamping yeah. family, isn't it? Yeah, so that you absolutely. know you can talk to yeah. and like everyone knows the struggle of running the business and, yeah. and talking about marketing and stuff absolutely. like that. Yeah. So it's been great to meet you. Thank, thank you, you ever so much. Yeah, yeah. we'll see you yeah. soon. We we'll look forward to seeing it on YouTube. We will. <laughs>